What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be my nighttime skincare routine. Now, I get so many questions about skincare and I am definitely not a skincare guru. I am just your average gal looking for that healthy, natural glow. And I feel like I've definitely fallen in love with skincare over the last year or so. I feel like that's one of the things that lockdowns really helped me do was just give myself that proper time in the morning and the evenings to just look after my skin instead of just kind of cracking on and not really paying much attention to what I was doing and what products I was putting on my skin. I definitely don't feel like I have any massive problem areas. I do get a few flare outs and breakouts, but pretty much my skin is actually quite okay. I do suffer a little bit with some irritation from certain products. So I do, I'm always trying to be quite careful what I am putting on my skin. And I do have a bit of just general things that I feel like I'm always trying to work on a little bit, but nothing too major. So I thought I would just jump in and show you my nighttime routine. It is different to my morning routine. So if you do want me to do a morning version of this video, let me know down below. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button if you do enjoy this video for more videos like this one and also because it helps support my channel. So let's dive straight into this. So as you can probably tell, it is not dead evening just yet. It's actually kind of late afternoon time, but I wanted to film it now so you can see while there's still some daylight and it's not just super dark and dreary. So we're gonna jump straight into this. First things first, I'm gonna get my hair out of the way, up into a bun. Okay, then I'm just gonna throw on this kind of, I don't even know what they're called, kind of like a headband. This is not the most aesthetic looking one you're gonna see in a second, it is definitely, it's a real look, okay, but you can get much nicer looking ones. This is what we are working with today. Okay, so hopping in first. First job is always to get rid of my makeup and any kind of pollutants and just nastiness that's on my skin from the day. I don't wear tons of heavy makeup, but I do wear foundation and bronzer, etc., pretty much every day. So this step is always super important. So the first product that I'm gonna jump in with is this cleanser from Drunk Elephant. It is super nice. It is a Sly makeup melting butter cleanser and it's a really strange consistency to get used to at the beginning. It is kind of like a, I don't even know how to describe it, okay? But it kind of goes really buttery in your fingers and you just massage it on and it kind of melts everything away. So first step is just to cover my face with this, massage it into my skin, and then I'm just gonna wash that off with some lukewarm water, not too hot, not too cold, just a nice kind of tepid temperature. Okay, so as you can see, that's made everything super shiny and just kind of melted everything into nothingness at the moment. So I'm just gonna wash it off with some lukewarm water, like I said, and then I'm just gonna dab it dry with my face cloth. Okay, so that is that step done. Now, next step is actually to do another cleanse. I'm just gonna whip this robe off because it's getting warm in here. Okay, so like I said, next step is to do another cleanse. I always double cleanse because I think it helps just really get rid of anything that there is on my skin. And I definitely do notice that even when I then do the second cleanse, there's still some stuff kind of coming off. So I'm gonna go in with this one, which is a Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. This is actually a bit of a new one for me. I have only been using this for a couple of weeks, but I usually like to go in with something that's just a bit lighter and either a foamy wash or just an all round good face wash. So I'm gonna go in with this one, just pop it all over my face, same process again, rubbing it in, massaging it in, and then just washing it off with some lukewarm water, dabbing my face with my face cloth once I've done that. Okay, so after we've done that and we are feeling nice and fresh and clean, I'm always as well making sure that I'm just like dabbing and pressing my face. I'm not like scrubbing it or like doing any vigorous movements. So once I've got that all dry, I'm then gonna hop in with a toner. So this is my favorite toner, it is the Pixi Glow Tonic. It is super nice to use and I just really, really like it. I actually bought this mini size last time I restocked it because it's just better for when we are finally able to do some traveling again. It's just a nicer size than like a big bottle. So I'm just gonna pop some of this on one of these 
bamboo little face cloths which are reusable you just pop them in the wash which is fantastic so i'm going to pop that on there and then i'm literally just going to again just dab this into my skin okay a job done with that one i always like to just give it a couple of seconds to just chill out for a second before I then move into any kind of oil, serums, moisturizers, etc. just because I feel like it's had a lot going on so far. So next step is to dive in with some oils. Now I actually have two favorite oils and I wanted to chat to you about both of them because I use them both and I genuinely just couldn't pick a favorite. So one of them is this one, which is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And then the next one is this Luna Oil from Sunday Riley. I literally love them both and they both do slightly different things for me, I would say. The Kiehl's one is just super nice, it smells amazing and it's just really relaxing feeling. And the Luna Sunday Riley one is similarly really relaxing but it also has retinol in it. Retinol obviously it helps reduce the signs of aging, wrinkles, fine lines, sun damaged skin, etc. So I do use both of these, not both at the same time, I tend to just alternate which one I'm using or whichever one I'm fancying. So I'm going to pop some of this on. So once I've got that on my skin, I'm literally just kind of massaging it in. I love this part of the process. I just think it feels really, really relaxing, particularly in the evening. So I'm just gonna spend a few seconds just massaging that into my skin before I then hop in with my moisturizer. There are another two products that I quickly wanted to jump in and talk about before I hop onto the moisturizers, just because again, I do use these from time to time and I do actually really, really like them in my skincare set. I do also use these two in the morning sometimes as well. So if I do do that separate morning video, then you might see them make an appearance there as well. But they are basically these two from the ordinary. So one is this one, and then the other is this one. So the first one, which is the hyaluronic acid, I'm probably saying that one wrong. This one is supposed to help make your skin look smoother, softer, and healthier. And again, like I said, I sometimes use this one in the morning as well. It says you can use it morning and night. And then the next one is the, I can never say this, niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. This has got high concentrations of two of the best blemish battling ingredients, supposedly. So these two as a nice little duo, I sometimes use in the evening instead of that night oil. Sometimes as well, if I'm feeling totally wild, but I just wanted to show you two, these two as well because I definitely do use them. Okay, next I'm ready to hop in with my moisturizer. Now I have two favorites, two absolute favorites, okay, when it comes to this. The first one is this one, which is the Drunk Elephant La La Whipped moisturizing cream. This is just a really lovely evening moisturizer. I'm pretty sure you can probably use it in the morning as well, but I tend to go with this one for the evening. It's really, really lovely. I definitely love the Drunk Elephant products. I'm a big fan of them. And these kind of mini bottles and stuff that you've seen me using, you can actually get a lot of the different like collections. I think they call it like the Littles or something like that. And you can basically try a lot of their products in these mini sizes. So if you're feeling like it's a big investment because they are quite pricey in the full size, it's a great way of getting a taste and a flavor of some of the products without committing to like tons and then you feeling like you're not quite sure because it's quite expensive. So that's why I've got these mini tubs of this one. The next one, which I just am absolutely obsessed with, I've re-bought this so many times and I cannot rave about it enough. It is this Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask and it's an overnight mask which you can just leave on, you don't need to wash it off. It's super gentle and it's just so lovely and hydrating on your skin. I cannot even describe it. I have recommended this to so many people and they've also now bought out a bigger size tube of it which I'm gonna have to get next time because I go through this a lot. So big fan of this one. I'll probably use this one maybe every other night, to be honest with you. It says that it's gentle enough that you can use it every single day, but I tend to either go in with the moisturizer or this one, but this is just such a favorite. Let's go in with this one today. Okay, so once I've got that all on my skin already settling in, I'm then gonna go in with my jade roller. Now, I am just such a fan of this little device. It's supposed to help relieve puffiness and just help the product 
kind of work into your skin. So I love doing it at this stage in my skincare process. It's definitely something that I probably skip in the morning just because I feel like I'm just rushing a bit more in the morning. But in the evenings when I have that little bit more time, I definitely take the time to enjoy this. So I literally just roll it on my face in kind of these upward strokes and it feels so nice. So literally just rolling this guy on. This is a real up close and personal here. Yeah. So once I've done that, that is literally my skincare complete. But before I end this video, I also just wanted to jump in with one or two other products which I haven't shown you today, which I still wanted to chat about because I do still do them in the evenings sometimes. So before all of these kind of lockdowns and all of this time at home, I was not a masked gal, okay? I did not do that. I just didn't feel like I had the time. I just couldn't be bothered and didn't really know which one to go for. And there's two which I do, which I genuinely do every week and I really, really like as part of my skincare routine. The first one is this one, which is again from Kiehl's. It's their Turmeric and Cranberry Radiance Mask and I probably use this once per week. It smells so dreamy and it's like this really lovely yellowy color. So I'll probably go in with that once a week and you leave it on for 10 minutes, wash it off with lukewarm water and it always feels super nice afterwards. So I'll go in with that after I've done my cleanses. And then also this one, which again is from The Ordinary. It is the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. And it says it helps battle blemishes and boost radiance. It says you should only be using this once a week. So I use this once a week. It is a bit more of a tingly one that isn't so relaxing to kind of have on and chill with, but I can definitely feel the benefits of it afterwards. And this one is really, really fantastic. Another thing about the ordinary products, which I love is that they are so affordable and accessible. I know that I've probably shown you a whole different mix of products, some which are maybe more pricey and others which are a lot, a lot more affordable like this one. And that genuinely is how my skincare is. I feel like I have certain things which I just feel like they are worth spending that a little bit more on and other things where they actually are not priced high at all, but they are really fantastic products. So I've just got a mix of everything in there. So that is it. That concludes my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit of a different one, so make sure you show me some love down below if you did enjoy it. And I'll be back in a few days with the next video. Any ideas, of course, always keep throwing them down below for me. There's tons happening over on my Instagram as well at the moment. Live workouts, honestly, all sorts happening. So come and say hey over there. Subscribe, like, you know the drill, and I'll see you in the next video.